Yo, what is up guys, it's Highcross, and in this video, I will be going over the best competitive Fortnite settings for Chapter 5. I will also be going over Epic Games settings and Nvidia Control Panel settings so that you guys are fully optimized for tournaments or ranked games. After I go over all the settings, I will throw in a 17 kill win that me and my duo got in FNCS Opens last week using the settings shown in this video. With that said, let's hop right into it. Alright boys, so let's start off with optimizing our Epic Games Launcher. So we're just going to double click Epic Games Launcher to open it up here. And what you guys want to do when this opens up is you guys want to head into Library. And you're going to look for Fortnite, hit the little three dots under Fortnite, and then we're going to go over to Options. Once Options pops up, these are the exact settings you're going to want to copy, alright? Obviously, Fortnite Core and Battle Royale, that you can't uncheck that because that's just the core game. The only other thing you're going to want to have checked here is pre-download streamed assets. This is actually going to give you a little bit of an FPS boost when you have this checked. If you don't have this checked, it's going to skew your FPS just a little bit. Obviously, it's not a major issue if you don't have this checked, but having it checked will give you a little bit of a performance boost. And then for the best settings, just don't have any of these checked and then once you're done copying these settings hit apply and we're able to open up fortnite and optimize our settings in there all right boys so now we are officially in fortnite and i will take you guys through my settings that i personally use in my opinion these are the best settings for competitive fortnite obviously there's some personal preferences here so you guys can change it to your own liking but this is a good base to just start off with if you guys are looking to improve your gameplay so what we're going to start off with, windowed mode, always have it full screen. Having it windowed full screen or even windowed is going to make your FPS really bad. So have it on full screen. Resolution, I have mine at 1920 by 1080, um, but you guys can also use stretched resolution. I will have my CRU stretch resolution tutorial linked down below. It has helped a ton of people out. And obviously, if I wasn't making content, I would be on stretched res. The best stretched res right now is 1720 by 1080. I believe that is the Asian Jeff stretched res. Um, a ton of pros use it still, and it is just an absolute goaded stretch resolution. So if you guys don't want to use native, definitely go with 1720 by 1080. VSync, make sure to have off. Uh, frame rate limit, I have mine capped at 240 FPS. For this, I would just cap it at whatever your monitor's hertz is. Some people say to select the FPS option that is one higher than your monitor's hertz. Um, so mine is a 240 hertz monitor, so some people would say make sure to select 360 FPS. However, I just found that 240 FPS just kind of works a little bit smoother with mine. Obviously, you can play around with it to see for yourselves. But if you guys have like a 144 hertz monitor, I would just put 144 FPS and just call it a day there. Rendering mode, obviously performance mode is the absolute best you want to use. It is going to give you the absolute best FPS, the best performance, latency, everything. Make sure you're using performance mode. If you're not in 2024, what are you doing? Make sure you use performance mode. Brightness, in my opinion, I prefer 150%. Um, some places on the map get a little dark and I like to see absolutely everything, so I just have mine maxed out. Uh, user interface contrast, I just keep this at 1x. Colorblind mode, I do not use any colorblind mode. Recently, I've been trying out uh, Triton Oak 10 just to make the colors extra vibrant, but I usually just run zero colorblind mode. For 3D resolution, make sure this is at anywhere from 90% to 100%. I have mine at 100%, um, but if you want just the absolute best, like, little minuscule boost in performance, then you guys can maybe bring it down to 90%. Um, but 90% is definitely the lowest I would go because your game is going to start looking like a potato if you go down even farther than that. So in my opinion, just keep it at 100%. Um, this nanite, nanite virtual geometry, I have off. View distance, I actually have this on far. For competitive, if you guys need storm surge, I found that having this on far is really helpful to see players from long distances. You guys can get some quick, easy tags on them. Um, so I just keep this on far. I noticed that on near and medium, sometimes it was a little bit hard to see opponents from far away. Um, so I just keep this on far. Textures I have on low, meshes I have on low. Um, the only pro player that I can really think of that uses meshes on high is Mr. Savage, and his PC is absolutely insane, and his PC is like crazy optimized, so it doesn't look like there's any delay whatsoever, even on high meshes. I've tried high meshes, and personally I just feel like it causes a lot of delay compared to having this on low meshes. And then advanced graphics, this is all up to you. I have my FPS on and report performance stats disabled. Um, these are all my audio settings. Obviously, this all comes down to what you're using for your audio because this needs to be tweaked to your personal preference. So I'll just scroll through it in case you guys want to copy it. 
Um, but the only major thing I would have in here is make sure that visualize sound effects is on. Um, this is probably the most broken thing in the entire game. If you guys aren't using visualized sound effects, you are at a major disadvantage. If you have this on, you can literally see people's footsteps before you actually see the player, and it really helps when playing competitive. For the sound quality, if you guys have this at low, you will get a little bit higher performance, but I notice when the sound quality is at low, it's really hard to tell where people are around me, so I just keep this on high. It's much easier to tell if players are above, below, or where they are around you, so I would definitely just keep this on high, um, especially when you need to hear players that are boxed up next to you. And now for the game settings, these are all my personal game settings. Um, obviously for the matchmaking region, you're going to want to have it on your region that you play on unless you're playing a tournament, which might default you to like NA Central if you play in North America. Um, but here are all my settings that I like to use. Toggle sprint on, auto open doors I have on, mantle activation, hold jump, hurdle activation, press jump, um, hold swap to pick up is off, toggle targeting off, mark danger when targeting on, auto pick up weapons is on. This is a big one. This is when if you're contested off spawn, and you both have like a god drop and you're both landing on the same weapon. If you have auto pickup weapons on and you also have like a scroll wheel binded for pickup, you could just spam it while landing on the gun and you'll almost guaranteed get it every time unless they're using like a macro pickup or something. Um, and it's actually really, really helpful when you're contested. So definitely consider having auto pickup weapons on. Um, I have auto sort consumables to the right. For preferred item slots, uh, honestly, this is somewhat important, I would say. Just kind of change this to your personal preference, but these are just my loadout slots and stuff like that if you guys want to copy them. Then we got uh, for the building settings, reset building choice on, disable pre-edits I have on. If you're playing competitive duos, I would definitely have this off. Um, as one player can have a pre-edit while the other one sprays, you guys can just jump in boxes and key like that. But I noticed that sometimes I mess up my builds and it kind of screws me up a little bit. Uh, turbo building, obviously have on, and auto confirm edits, I have this on edits. Uh, contextual tips on, and then you guys can just copy my settings if you want for, for this. Um, for the FOV slider that they recently added, I didn't really change anything, I believe. I think it's just 70 and 100 is the default they give you. Um, I didn't really care to change it at all, um, but you guys can just copy all my settings here and then make sure you have these two off down here. These are both just random settings that if you have on might affect your gameplay a little bit or might affect your frames. So definitely just have them off just in case. Onto our game UI, uh, for reticle and damage feedback, I have my reticle on, reticle ammo indicator on, damage numbers cumulative, Reticle damage feedback on hit only. My damage number scale is 115%. Um, you guys can have this at max at like 125. I found that 115 works best for me, um, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. They're so similar. My HUD scale, HUD scale doesn't really matter. You can just kind of change it to however you want. I use 82%. And then you guys can just copy these. Most of these should be on besides some of these down here. Now into our mouse and keyboard settings. Here's one of the most important settings that honestly relies on you. These are the current settings that I'm rocking, and I know in my recent montage, I was actually using 10% XY. Well, that montage, when I sent the clips over to my editor, um, that was before I played a bunch of tournaments. In those tournaments, when I was using 10% X and Y, I was whiffing a ton of shots, so I decided to drop my sense down just a little bit, and I found that 7% is actually doing really well for me right now. Um, I'm able to hit a lot of shots, and I'm not messing up my builds as much. Um, so I use 7% XY as of right now. My targeting sense, I use 50.3%. Building sense are both 100%, uh, editing sets 100%. Um, ignore controller input off, lock input method is mouse, I have on. Use custom diagonals, I have on. These are my custom diagonals if you guys want to copy these. Again, all personal preference, it's up to you guys. Um, I've tweaked these just a little bit. I've honestly used a bunch of different ones. This is actually a pretty aggressive double movement. Um, my character's movement is actually really, really weird in game, but I found that it's actually really helpful when getting in build fights. It's harder for players to hit you when you're using some weird ass movement. Um, so yeah, these are just my diagonals if you guys want to copy that. And then here's my mouse flight settings if you want to copy those. And on to my keybinds. Now, when I stream, I do want to preface, a bunch of people have came in my chat and said that my keybinds aren't really optimized for competitive. And honestly, I'd have to agree. Keybinds are pretty subjective. Uh, honestly, it all comes down to your personal preference and everything. Um, so I'll slowly scroll down and just kind of give you guys a look if you guys want to copy these settings. 
Um, but this is kind of what I'm rocking right now. A bunch of people criticize me for using F as my pickaxe, uh, which I guess is a really weird key, but I changed these keybinds a long time ago, and I've been using these keybinds for like three, four years now. So I've gotten so used to it, I guess it just doesn't really matter anymore. Um, but yeah, these are the rest of the settings. You guys can pause the video or slow it down if you guys want like every little setting here. But yeah, that is it for Fortnite settings. If you guys did decide to copy those, you guys will be all set for competitive with the in-game settings. Now we're going to head out and look at the NVIDIA control panel settings to hopefully boost your PC's performance overall. All right, boys, let's pull up our NVIDIA control panel settings. So what you guys are going to do, you guys want to be on your desktop. You're just going to right click on your desktop until you see NVIDIA control panel and you're going to open this up real quick. And what you guys are going to do once it opens up is you're going to go to manage 3D settings and all these 3D settings are going to be what affects your game and your PC's performance overall. So I'm just going to go through all these settings really, really briefly. You guys can copy these if you would like, but these are all settings that have been recommended by professional PC tweakers. And in my opinion, these are the best NVIDIA settings that you could possibly have. So I will just go one by one briefly explaining what I have. And yeah, you guys can copy it if you'd like. So for image scaling, we have off, ambient occlusion off, anti-stroping filtering. Uh, I have this on application controlled for anti-aliasing FXAA off, anti-aliasing gamma correction off, anti-aliasing mode application controlled. Um, for the anti-aliasing setting application controlled, the transparency one off, background application max frame rate off, CUDA Sysmum fallback policy, make sure this is on driver default. For DSR factors off, DSR smoothness off. Low latency mode, I have this on on. Um, some people like this on ultra or even on off. I prefer it on on, I feel like it works the best like that. Max frame rate, make sure you have this off, you do not want to be capping your frames. Multi-frame sampled AA, MFAA, make sure you have that off. OpenGL GDI compatibility, have this on auto. OpenGL Rendering GPU, make sure you go in and select your GPU for that. Do not have this on auto select. Make sure you manually select your GPU. That is going to be very important there. Power Management Mode, this is arguably the most important setting within this. Prefer maximum performance, all right? We don't want any power management going on. We want full power at all times. So make sure this is on prefer maximum performance. For preferred refresh rate for your monitor, make sure you have this on highest available. Shader cache size, unlimited. For texture filtering, anisotropic, whatever that is, make sure you have that on. Texture filtering, negative LOD bias, allow. Texture filtering quality, high performance. Texture filtering, trilinear optimization on. Threaded optimization on auto. Triple buffering off. Vertical sync, use the 3D application setting. For virtual reality pre-rendered frames, have this on one. Virtual reality variable rates, have this on off. And the Vulkan slash OpenGL present method, have this on auto. All right. And some of you, depending on your PCs, might not have all these settings in here. Um, I know in one of the videos that I posted for optimizing your 3D settings in NVIDIA control panel, a bunch of the comments said, I don't have half of these settings. And this honestly just depends on your PC. Sometimes it's not going to show up and that is fine. All I would do is just copy the settings to mine on whatever you do have. And don't worry about the ones that you don't have. I just really wouldn't worry about that at all. Um, but yeah, that is the absolute best settings that you guys can have in your 3D settings for NVIDIA control panel. Very important, make sure you guys save your settings when you're done. Down in the bottom right hand corner, there should be a save or apply button. Make sure you guys click that before exiting out so it saves all your settings in here. Since I didn't change anything, obviously it's not here, so we're just going to exit out. But make sure you guys hit save before exiting. And that is the end of our optimization tutorial. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I will now show gameplay of me and my duo Zilla getting a 17 kill win in the FNCS Opens. This is our first game and I'm using all these settings so you guys can see how my game runs in tournaments using those settings. I hope you all enjoy the gameplay and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Got him knocked. Nice. Yep. 11. Backlund. Nice. Get in, trying to get in. Got wall. Dead. In it. Oh. Full piece, in it. Cat. Coming. No, he got out. Oh. He may hit me a little bit. Fuck is he? 
Oh, another, right another right team, bro. Another oh, fucking another team. team. Legit, nothing I could do here. Make it on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna get us a bounty over here. Okay. Oh, there's kid in that bush. Crack door, dead, dead, He's solo. Nice. Yeah, he was just sitting there. On me. Dead. Nice. Break this door. Break uh, yeah, this yeah, door, here. I'm just popping. I'm popping flubber. Watch our top. Watch our top too. Can you replace that with like a metal? Uh, we're gonna spray down by like everything. Yeah, no, no. Oh, it's hot. He's on my wall right here. Back up. Yep. Backing up. Yeah, they're hard keying, bro. Get out. Get out. We have to get out. Yep. Getting out. Oh, he's up. Yeah, yeah. They're both up. Yep. No, he saw me. They might try to key this, bro. Nice, good stuff. Getting my I'm in. Dead. Nice. He had a gold pump. Carry. Mine had a green pump. All right. There's a... Uh... Oh, max everything, bro. Okay. Solo, I think. He's struggling to build, bro. Right. Done. Nice. Keep moving. Break through, break through, break through. This is so right? A little bit. There's a rift on, on pink mark. Yeah, I know. Wait, white? Dead? Knocked? 20? Crack? Dead. 1 HP. Nice. Right there. Okay, I'm getting loot. Yeah, this lobby's ass, bro. This lobby's, like, horrid. Just is right there. Okay, Still I'm right. boxing boxing up on Rift. Do not hit it. Yep. Kids rotating. Watch Just your back. Take. Wait. Feel like... Yep. Crack, crack. Dead. Got one. Nice. All right, ready? We're gonna have to we're gonna have to grapple, okay? Yep. Following you. Okay. Honestly, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna right, chill up so here. Yeah, yeah, just still up, chill up here. Okay. Crack. Look at that hit. Dead. 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 Nice. Thirty two. Cracked. Sixty four white. Sixty four white. Get him. Get him. Yeah, yeah. Spray, spray, spray. Spraying. Nice. Dead. Good stuff. Got him. Look at this hit. Yep. Looking yeah, down. Yeah. Keep looking. Yep, looking. Looking with this hit. 20. Okay. Cracked. Nice stuff. Dead. Good. I'm gonna get these kids in low. Dead. Nice. Oh, wait, no, I didn't get it. Okay, all good. Pulls back. Get that kid. Yep, cracked. Cracked him. Pulls back, pulls back. Stay on, stay, stay on this, stay on this. Yep. He might come up. He might come up with zip. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's not. Look at this solo. Cracked. Nice cracked in there. Yep, done. Right there. Nice. Yep. Should I go down? Yeah, yeah, you, you go down, you go down. You stay up, you stay I'll up. stay up. Connecting. Yep. Dropping a little bit. Nine. Twenty. Okay. I'm gonna keep spraying down. Full box. Okay. No, I died. No, it's fine, it's you're good. You're good, he's about to die, he's about to die. You're okay. Good. No, he didn't die. He's coming up. It's the Mogul Master. He's 1 HP. Yep. 1v1v1. Gotta make sure this kid doesn't come up behind me, bro. I'll do connect. I'll do connect if I were you. 250 builds. 160 builds. But go, 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 go. Get the drop down. He just got cracked. He's gonna have to break out. Nice. Let's, Let's fucking go, go, baby. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's go. You're telling me that was 99? We couldn't even get 100? Bruh. Couldn't even get 100. Alright, let's go. 17 kill dub.